welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we've got the Sun Spider Prime. So, the last couple days we've done the Sun Spider A, the Sun Spider B, and now we are on to the Sun Spider Prime. And this is actually me finishing off the Sun Spiders because I've already done the Hero Sun Spider, which was the Sun Spider Vanguard, which was a little while back, uh, three weeks ago or so. But, um, yeah, so the Sun Spider Prime. This one is. M definitely more of a closer range build here this is a brawl type uh, build that we got going on and uh, brawling in the sun spider uh, it's kind of a challenge it is sun spider is a great heavy mech it really it's such a good mech but brawling in it can be can be difficult and as I said I wanted to do the uh, the mech stock Because if you watch my videos, most of the time you know that I do my own builds. I make my own builds, and I rarely do the do mech stock. Um, but I'm doing the Sun Spider stock just because I want to show how PGI wanted this mech to come, and they did it for a reason. And uh, each of these variants of the Sun Spider has a specific role to play. And the Prime is um, it's pretty nasty, in a good way. It's a uh, you don't want to get up close to one of these guys. That's all I'm saying. You want to stay kind of far away from them. Anyways, let's take a look at the Prime. It comes with one ballistic, just one, one energy, and four missiles. So the Prime is primarily focusing on missile hard points, which you have in your arms there. And, of course, you got your ballistic, your, uh, ballistic weapon up in your uh, right torso and your energy in your left. Um, everything is the same here. I left everything exactly the same way it came. Um, so for our ballistic, we've got a Clan Ultra AC-10, which is one of my favorite ballistic weapons of all time. Ultra AC-10s have a great range. They do good damage. They're fast. The only problem is, is of course, they jam. The only weapons in the game to jam are the Ultra Auto Cannons. So we've got an Ultra AC-10 with two tons of ammo. For our laser hardpoint, we've got an ER Large, because why not? You're either going to want to use an ER large or a large pulse, unless you're putting it, unless you want to take this off and add a medium pulse or maybe a um, a heavy medium or a heavy large. Because if you added a heavy medium laser, that would only be one ton, and you would have all this extra tonnage to put towards extra ammo for your SRMs or your ultra auto cannon. Um, also, for our four missiles, it comes with four sets of streak SRM sixes. Streak SRMs are very dangerous weapons, and especially when you have four of them, and it comes with three tons of ammo, which is, you know, most of the time when mechs come stock, they don't give you enough ammo. But honestly, this build right here gives you about enough, right at it. So yeah, Streak SRM sixes actually have a decent range on them. They go far, they, they go further than I thought, which is 360 meters, uh, 12 points of damage apiece. Um, and the heat on this, because I've got, let's see, four internal double heat sinks. Ultra AC-10s don't rack up too much heat. Um, heat is 1.38 out of 2, so pretty good. It's pretty good heat. As for upgrades, we've got the Ferro, the Double, and the Endo Steel. Comes with the Clan XL 350 engine, 81 kph, armor points, uh, 74 the CT, 52 the torsos, 34 the arms, 40 points in the legs. All in all, it's a pretty damn good mech. And it's a good variant. Um, as I said, brawling in this, it's definitely a brawl type build. You're going to get in there. The only problem is, Streak SRMs, after you fire them, there's a minute. There's a good a good bit in between times when it's reloading. And if your Ultra AC-10s jam while this is reloading, um, you're really only stuck with your ER large. Now, this mech does come with an enhancement or a quirk that has the UAC jam chance minus 20%. So it doesn't jam as much as other um, variants would because the UAC jam chance enhancement minus 20% is pretty good. I like that. That's a, that's an enhancement I'd always want with my ballistics. And you got an energy cooldown minus 50%. And of course your XP bonus. I think that's about it for this variant. Um running at straight up stock only thing I changed was the armor points and of course 
Watch your heat just a little bit, firing the Ultra AC-10s along with four sets of Streak SRM-6s, especially if you're using all the Streaks on one weapon group, firing them all at once is going to cause a little bit of a heat spike, but nothing too major. And I'm, I'm grouping them all together. I want that nasty punch. But I think that's about it for the, for the Prime. So let's go ahead and get into a match, and I will see you guys on the battlefield. Alrighty, in the Sun Spider Prime on Frozen City. Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah. And this is, um, I am finishing up the Sun Spider here. This is it. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure I'll come back to it at some other point. But, um,. This is the last one. The Prime. So I've got one Ultra AC-10, which is a great ballistic weapon. I've got an ER Large, great range, and four Streak SRM-6s. So it's a relatively closer range build here. I mean, 360 meters is the max range on these SRMs. And uh, that's actually a surprisingly far distance. Now my thing was, I was wondering if I should use re regular SRMs, which you don't need a lock for, or streak SRMs, which you have to have a lock for. And I wasn't sure. Um, Target acquired. Because the wait time between the... In, in, not just the wait time in between the streaks loading back up, but there's the, uh, you, sometimes you can't get a lock on an enemy mech, even if it's in front of you, especially if they got ECM and they're, you know, they're blocking your locks. Um, that could be a real issue there. But that's what your backup Ultra AC-10 is for in the ER large. So, you're gonna want to get those locks, though. That's the first thing you want to do. And 300 shots per each is not bad. It looks like they are coming up from the corner there from the D5. New target acquired. Most of our team is heading towards the D6 area. New target acquired. G6. My bad, G6. Alright, so we got a battle master. He's hurting. He's not going to make it much longer. Not really going to focus on him, but we are going to go over this way. I'm going to set myself up here. The battle master is down. He got taken out. What is that? Is that an Atlas or a Night Gear? Looks like a Night Gear. So we got Target Foxtrot. We're going to try to focus on him. New target. Nice shot. New target acquired. I'm not sure what mech is behind there. Um, I look like a hunchback, but I'm not really sure. New target. Couldn't get a lock on him. We've got a bushwhacker coming in. New target acquired. He is pairing up with the night gear, so we got the bushwhacker and fox trout, which is the night gear, side by side over there. There's a catapult and there's a marauder, and I want to keep them over there at bay. Although we do need to take out the catapult, he's got missiles. The night gear's got LRMs as well, but we're going to go in since his CT is already pretty bad. And did you see that range? That's a pretty decent range, and we just took out the night gear. Um, so the range on the streaks are really awesome. We just got that kill on the night gear. 
And there's a bushwhacker somewhere. There he is. Alright. He's an X2. He's got SRMs and an AC-20. We need to watch out for him. Let's go ahead and uh, streak him up there. Bam! He is done. Bushwhacker with some SRMs and an AC-20. That's a... Uh, that's a good build right there. Storm Crow is almost down. Target Alpha. So another match where we came in and totally annihilated them. Um, I am glad that they pushed though, since because most of the times on this map it's one team on one side, one team on the other, and it's nothing but ER larges, lasers just going back and forth until someone decides to move. Now the range, check this out. I hit him from all the way over here. That is a great range for those streaks. And the stalker, let's go ahead and target him with our SRMs light him up with the ultra and he is down hopefully next match is a little bit more challenging not saying I don't like winning um, because there is that event going on right now you, you play seven matches you get seven wins you get seven million C bills and there's also a free uh, mech warhorn there's a free paint color which is called piranha yellow so it's a new yellow color that you can get for your mech just for getting some kills or, I don't know, doing a certain amount of damage in a match or getting points. Um, so don't forget about the, that event. Um, I didn't even know that the event was going on. They didn't, they didn't post it right. It's part of the Solaris, uh, it's a, the Solaris Quick Play event, and it's in the store page if you just go to that. A lot of people didn't know about it, so I was kind of surprised. But yeah, 7 million C bills, don't pass that up. If you're gonna, if you're playing anyways, you might have, you might have already gotten it. Um, hell, I went on and I, I had already had 7 wins, and uh, all I had to do was just redeem my prize, and I got 7 million seatbelts just like that. Uh, let's see, we, we got 1 kill, 6 assists, 1 KMDD, 475 damage. Not too bad for a very quick match, so this thing can dish out some quick damage. Um, let's go ahead and play another match. second match on Frozen City again so um, yeah last match we annihilated the enemy uh, this match is domination so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a closer range which is good for me just depending on what the enemy team does I need to be careful I definitely want to get close enough to use my streaks Um, streaks, uh, streaks are tricky weapons. Streak SRMs are definitely tricky. Alright, so... Let's go on and head down this way. I don't... Where are they at? Ah, they are coming from our left. really yeah they're gonna try to flank us from behind they're gonna send some guys down to the middle so they can keep their points or keep the keep the stop the clock from running and um, they're gonna send another lance hell maybe two behind us so we got to stop this from happening uh, I'm taking some hits to 
F7. Problem is, is we still got guys yeah, on the other side of the map. They need to get here soon. Looks like they're starting to jump down. Luckily, we had a lance up to the top left to keep them from getting behind us completely. But at the same time, what's this grasshopper doing? Ah, uh, the grasshopper. Uh oh. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I need to get to cover now. Oh, let's light him up with our streaks. Alright, we just hurt him pretty bad and oh shit here comes a roughneck we just popped our streaks at the roughneck as well I'm taking some heavy hits here and we got a shadow cat coming around the corner come on come on give me that lock give me that lock all right he is down the roughneck is going back up to the top Uh, I was hoping I could tag him. Alright, what do we got? Roughneck. Another roughneck. Let's go in the corner here. Oh, here comes the grasshopper. Let's pop him. Got him. <laughs> Sucker. Alright, we just took out the grasshopper. We got Alpha. Oh, we got a Kodiak. That's great. Kodiak CT is pretty bad. Let's see if we can get him with our streaks. There we go. Need to watch my heat. Oh, he just took off half my streaks, half my oh my auto cannons are now overheated, and I'm probably done for now. Yep, done. That's what happens when you overheat in front of a Kodiak. Wow, 620 damage in four minutes. That is showing you that the Sun Spider can put out some good damage. Just not up to par with a Kodiak. <laughs> Definitely not. Nice kill. Alright, let's see how our team Solve. goes here. Kodiak CT. We are on the Shadow Cat cam. Target destroyed. Nice. New target. Uh, okay, so there's only two of them left. New target acquired. Now we are on the Arctic Cheetah cam. Is running for his life. Focus on the man dying. Make leg the missile next to me. All right, let's switch cams. Uh, nope. Nope. This is the Hellbringer. New target acquired. Get up and snugly close with that man dog. New target acquired. Let's see, four ER larges on this Hellbringer. Eh. Back to the Shadow Cat. Let's stick on him. Ooh, he's trying to knock that mad dog. What is that mad dog carrying? Four sets of ATM 9s. Heavy, medium, laser. Two heavy mediums with four ATM 9s. I'm not a big fan of ATMs. Uh, the advanced tactical missiles. Not a big fan at all. Not that great. I think LRMs are better than ATMs. And that's it. They took him out. New target acquired. Oh, there is one guy left. How is there still one left? Uh, I'm sorry, one of our assaults. One light. And that's basically the match right there. That is it. Good kill. Good game. Well played. 
And I'm glad it was a little bit more of a challenge than last match was, which is good, even though I didn't survive. Uh, face to face with the Kodiak after overheating, yeah. But we took out that Grasshopper, that was a nice kill. Uh, one kill, nine assists, two KMDD, 620 damage. Um, that premium time really gets you those extra C bills, so. Definitely, uh, Sunspider Prime finished it up, that was it. Sunspider Prime is definitely a closer range kind of brawl type build, but uh, I give them all thumbs up. They're all good variants, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to another mech here soon. So, guys, have a good uh, rest of your weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Fuzzy Nova, out.